Hey everyone, Dan here. Welcome to the next episode of Growing $100 Account. I hope you're enjoying the series. A couple of things to keep in mind. One, these are my own thoughts, opinions, and ideas. These are not meant to be, nor should you take them as investment or trading advice in any way, shape, or form. Do your own due diligence, put in the work for yourself, and make your own decisions based on that. And this is a series, and I hope that you're enjoying it that way. That said, if you want to watch things out of order or hop around, I understand you should definitely do whatever you think is best. Uh, also, these are probably uh, often <laughs> good candidates for speeding up to 2x on YouTube or 1.5x or what have you, but we do just watch the market in real time for a lot, a lot of the video. So if you want to kind of get through that or just slow it back down when you see something about to happen, you know, that might make a lot of sense for these videos. All right, be sure to like and subscribe and enjoy. All right, everyone, welcome to episode four. We are in the last half hour of the trading day on Wednesday, August 4th, and my previous trades have all been closed. And so we went through some of those in episode three, so go back there if you haven't seen them yet. But as you see, I started off with $100 yesterday, and after a day of trading, I'm at 105.20, so a little over 5% on the 24 hours, or since the inception, I guess we could say. Um, so looking to deploy this 105 as best I can. Now, these are the two that I had identified this morning in the video that I'd be looking for. Pen is doing a really nice thing for me today, I think. I mean, I don't know if it'll be nice for earnings, but we'll see. Let's check on what the news said. All right. Ooh, before they break out in strong catalysts. Okay. All right. So there's that one. And so basically, if you missed it, what I'm looking at is um, tomorrow, which is ooh, Thursday the 5th, Penn has earnings with big expectations. And I'm obviously relying on the idea that they would meet those expectations and that they've been pretty much a slaughterhouse of despair over the last three months or so, just getting absolutely crushed. So what the what the thought is or what the play is, is that good earnings are not in any way, shape or form priced in since it has fallen from $142 on the dot down to uh, 66.28 currently. And it hit that 144 in mid-March. So uh, at this point, to me, really good earnings, meeting, meeting earnings, or potentially, because that beatdown is so catastrophic, you know, more than cut in half, potentially even a slight miss, but still solid earnings would be viewed favorably. So my take on this is this could be worth an entry. Um you know, given the opportunity there. Now it could, of course, sell out further, but that's the risk that you take. That's sort of the risk that I have to take trying to build this hundred dollar account into something, especially for now when I don't have any options trading available to me uh, until that gets opened up. So BBIG, which I was looking at, is getting beaten down a bit today. Also, I was thinking maybe it was going to run up at this point, but it is not really. Um, over, okay, so EXPI is doing well, but I can't buy EXPI and PEN, and I'm pretty set on buying PEN. Uh, I could just grab a share of GBT, but I don't know that that's going to continue to run. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, a pretty big run up for it to continue to push much, much higher would be a lot to ask. Uh, I mean, must be i mean it's down at the baseline on the macd and about to, to have a bullish crossover surprisingly enough catching some support hmm interesting we got here rsi not even that high i mean most of that activity was in the after hours in the pre-market could be an up opportunity there actually surprisingly Excello, which i closed out of today yeah i'm not going to get back into that at the moment this is rm um i'm not going to get back into that at the moment let's see what else we have for potential earnings if there's any anything interesting datadog but i think it's probably too expensive yeah too expensive oh no this would be oh that's the wrong thing B dog. There we go. Yeah. Two expulse. So 
<clears throat> ah, Duke Energy. I used to play that puppy when there was the uh, flash crash last year. I don't know if it's considered a flash crash, but we crashed last year. Papa John's. Eh. What is this? Mixers. Let's see what's happening here. Ooh. Whoa. Yikes. What's happening here? Three months. Okay. So is that four almost five bucks on 625? What in the world happened on 625? 628 announces. Huh. Okay. Yeah. I don't love the news cycle here. Um, could be missing an opportunity there, but I don't know. Um, kind of hard to tell. Anything else interesting for tomorrow? Otherwise, I have pen that I feel pretty solid with. And then I might just have to go to some sort of like old favorites or ones that I had come across earlier today that might still be doing something interesting. I mean, I oh, it's probably too expensive now. But hood, yeah. I mean, I don't want any part of that at this moment. Um, that's going to be a whirlwind of despair, I think, sooner than later. What's their market cap at the moment? Because I had said in one of my SoFi videos that I was looking for uh, like 70, 80 billion market cap. Yeah. So when they reached up to $85 a share, maybe they were there. But uh, yikes, crazy. Okay. Um all right, so we might be looking at Penn for a play or night. Um, what else was I thinking of this morning? Any additional earnings here? Cars, cars, cars. What's the deal with that? Too rich for my blood? No. What's the three months here look like? Because that's not bad earnings, expectations. It's okay. Hmm. All right. Yeah. <laughs> when did this start? We're also at the end of June, so not that long. What happened at the end of June? Oops. 625. Do Tesla, new approved cars here. <laughs> new and approved cars that comes here and then it got absolutely crushed um okay used car prices have surged i don't know maybe there's a reason here to take a position what's, what's the volume on this puppy oh weeble you gotta work on your desktop app baby it has some good things to it but this nonsense with this gooey is uh it's just really silly Ugh, low volume. I just don't like the low volume stuff. Um, do we have any previous running up that we could? Um, give me a six month view here. Okay. Okay. Maybe this isn't that bad of an option. Um, hmm. I guess the other thing is, is GBT the one that was looking okay? Yeah. This could have a lot of room left to run. I mean, look at how much it got beat down. It's just it doesn't have, it's going to have to continue this run based on the catalyst switch. I wonder if this came through. I thought that they had an analyst upgrade. Uh, analyst upgrade stock, yes. They beat their earnings. They got an upgrade to $50 or something. Uh, okay. All right. So maybe this could run again. So I would have a share of this and a share of pen. Unless I want to think about cars, cars, cars. I don't know. 
GBT or Cars, Cars, Cars? What did GM do today anyway? That was the other one that I was going to play instead of... Oh, wow. I guess I made the right decision there. I was going between Nats and SSRM. Those two stocks had very different days. Um, okay. So... So maybe Penn and GB. I mean, I kind of think that Cars, Cars, Cars is not really enough potential upside. But the question about GBT to me is, can they continue to run based on good earnings that were reported today and then an analyst upgrade? Like, is that really going to be enough? There's definitely a lot of meat on the bone. As we pulled out to that chart, we saw that. That was crazy. Um, what's the volume here? Oh, Weeble, you're going to make me stop using your desktop app, baby. We can't can't be doing this. All right. It's better than cars, cars, cars. That's for sure. So, all right. We might be going this one, just sort of seeing if it can run again. Worst case scenario, we'll probably lose a few bucks if it trickles down. But, I mean, I don't think it's going to be that catastrophic and it's up 20 percent today yeah. that's a lot but again if i look at the three month that's where it makes me go okay and on the minutes macd what are we looking at there it's the other question we're not even that high we had a nice swing off of the dip but are we going to get topped out again here's the question Ay, 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 ay. Decisions, decisions. RSI is quite high, but we could bounce off the midline. 20 months to come up. Okay. I'm going to go for this. I'm going to go for one of these and one of pen. But I'm going to get pen first because I want to make sure I get pen. So if for some reason, I run out of buying power. Uh, I want to make sure that I got the pen instead. All right. So we're going to get one. Holy smokes, Weeble. Come on, man. Uh, buy pen. Buy pen. Okay. There's me one share of pen. I got me one share of pen. And I'm going to get me one share. Oops. Of global blood. I think they say it like that anywhere. Marketing or something. I don't know if they actually have advertisements. Global blood. Um, okay. All right, so how are we looking here? What do we have left? We can't even buy cars, 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 can we? Nope. Okay. So Penn's already lost us a few pennies. So <laughs> we'll see. But uh, okay, that'll do it for uh, this episode. So these are the shares that I'm going to be holding into open tomorrow. So I'm sure we'll check back in then. And, uh, you know, just remember if it's, you know, kind of tedious to sit through as I try to figure out an entry point in these just to exit on YouTube, just do the two X speed up or something and, you know, slow it back down and jump back in. If you see something happening that you want to make sure that you catch, but otherwise it's a long journey. We got a long way to go. Uh, we're just a little over a hundred dollars. I mean, there's our P and L so far. So, you know, lots to do and a bunch of videos to come. So just hold tight and and we'll get there together. But hopefully it's enjoyable to see sort of like where I would make these decisions and why. And if it's not, then there's plenty of other videos that I put out that you can watch <laughs> instead. But um, it's always fun to start a, a little new account and see what you can grow it into. Well, I hope that you all had a great day and I will see you in the morning if you want to see the next episode and see how we do with pen and global blood. All right, I'll see you in the next video.